Welcome to 3 Minute Thoughts. So I've been seeing a lot of memes recently about Bitcoin and I don't have any Bitcoin, never invested in it. I've been following it for a while. I have an idea of what it's about, but it's not something that really interested me. It just feels like another form of gambling. Anyway, I figured let's talk about it since I've been seeing all these memes. So is Bitcoin a good thing? For what am I looking at? No, that's the short answer. Longer answer is I see three main problems with it. The first is, yeah, it is a form of gambling. Just like the stock markets, you do have control of when you sell the coin, but along that lines, it's also a pyramid scheme. The people who bought it early at a low price can then sell it later at a high price and make a profit, and the people who are buying it later at the high price then have to wait for it to get higher. So you need future investors to make a profit. That's literally the definition of a pyramid scheme. And then the main reason why I see it's a bad thing is people talk about the energy consumption. And I've been aware that it consumes a lot of energy, but the stats I see is each Bitcoin transaction uses over about $100 worth of energy. And that's, they say, the average household energy bill for six weeks, just for each Bitcoin transaction. Now, how does that actually work? Why why is it so much? The, the concept, as I understand of the Bitcoin, is imagine... You get a $20 bill and anytime, and you should bend the $20 bill somewhere. You go to a store, you give them the store and they take the receipt and they staple the receipt to the $20 bill. Then when the store then gives the $20 bill to someone else or use it to buy something else, a new receipt is stapled to it. And then it moves around, receipt, 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 staple, staple, staple. So this $20 bill will eventually have like a whole stack of stapled receipts. So you know the whole history of what the $20 bill has gone through ever since it existed. This is kind of sort of what a Bitcoin is. Well, those receipts, it's not sustainable. Those, they keep getting more and more and more and more added. They never get removed. You end up with this really thick thing that you can't put in your wallet. And that's why, again, each transaction takes a lot of energy is because it has to then also, all those receipts have to be accounted for with each transaction. Now, I did have a friend who was, that, that was something he set up a bunch of computers in his house with graphic cards just to help process the transactions. And his justification was... He got a little uh, money on the side for doing it, and it cost, he, he made more money than the cost of the energy, which is a great idea, but at the same time, you're now just wasting a bunch of energy for nothing, except to make money, causing more energy need to be made, which that also is a bad, it's a bad, bad idea. Is there any good to it? People are saying it's good because it's unregulated, and it's not attached to a government. Maybe, maybe not, but there are plenty of negatives and this whole thing is going to collapse at some day. The whole trick is to make a profit and get out before it does. Not my jam. That's my thought. Have a good one.